Have you ever met or known someone in your life that was extremely stubborn? Like the entire world is screaming one thing at them, but they just refuse to listen? Trying to get them to be at least open to a widely accepted opinion can be infuriating. But when they finally relent and give something a chance that they wouldn't have otherwise, and then admit that they should have listened in the first place, it's pretty incredible. That stubborn moron is me. Hey guys, I'm Hyde, and welcome to my Hereditary Review, a film that for years everyone was trying to get me to watch. There's quite a bit to cover, so let's get right into the plot of this movie. It begins with a secretive matriarch of the Graham family dying, leaving behind her biological daughter Annie, her husband, and their two children Peter and Charlie. It's quickly established that Annie's side of the family has suffered several tragedies, and her relationship with her mother was strained. Although Annie is somewhat able to keep herself together after the death of her mother, she completely falls apart when another tragedy strikes her family soon after. Those close to her watch as she descends deeper into her grief and depression, but it isn't long until Annie meets Joan, who has also suffered a devastating tragedy. The two bond and confide in each other, and soon Joan reveals to Annie that there is a way to contact her lost loved one. When Annie attempts this ritual, however, something much more malevolent and threatening seems to have crossed over, and Annie and her family find themselves the targets of an ancient evil. And the only way to stop it is to discover the secrets of her mother. Although this sounds like your typical supernatural horror film, it is actually so much more. Unlike similar films, Hereditary doesn't rely on cheap jump scares, instead opting to do what other great supernatural horror movies do, which is provide a dark and terrifying atmosphere. This atmosphere in Hereditary is extremely ominous and at times can be quite unsettling. There is definitely a sense of loss and sadness present in this film, but also an obvious overtone that something evil and foreboding is impending. Even though the director Ari Aster deserves much credit for this, I maintain that Toni Collette, who played Annie, deserves just as much. Her scenes were some of the most powerful in the film, and as such, deserves praise. While the overall atmosphere of Hereditary is thick and heavy, that's not to say that that is all that this movie has to offer. There are some of the typical moments that you would expect to see in a movie like this, such as seances and objects seemingly moving on their own. And even at times, it seems like the pace of this film has slowed to a crawl. But any time this movie felt like it was going down the path to becoming just another ordinary ghost story, it came out with some of the most insane and disturbing scenes I've watched in a long time. There were more than a few scenes of graphic violence and disturbing content that will shock and unnerve any viewer. There are times when this movie seems like it is going to cross a line, and although it never reaches the point of becoming distasteful, it never lets the audience feel safe or comfortable. These things make Hereditary a very effective film, but not everything was as effective. The best acting in the movie was done by Tony Collette, and while the acting by the rest of the cast wasn't necessarily bad, they just didn't seem to be able to match Tony Collette's strong performance. I'm not sure if this is an instance where her performance was so powerful and outrageous that it just makes everyone look worse by comparison, or if it was just that they weren't trying as hard. And while the film never seemed to drag on for too long or lose my interest, it did seem to take a long time for the final act to actually begin. It's obvious by the title alone that the plot of this film is going to have something to do with the past of this family and the secrets that Annie's mother took to her grave. However, that part of the film didn't appear at all until the end. Up until then, it rather seemed like a film about grief, loss, and guilt. And when it finally does begin to take that turn towards skeletons in the closet, it almost comes as a shock. But like the rest of the film, once the final act begins, it doesn't let up. There are two things that I want to bring up about the end. One is that it has some of the most disturbing and shocking scenes in the entire film. Hereditary really ramps it up, and is not afraid to push the limits on what its audience can handle. The other is that I actually found it to be pretty well laid out, and it didn't leave me asking too many questions, which I did appreciate immensely. It seems all too often, particularly recently, that films intend to have purposely ambiguous and complicated endings which more often than not leave me quite confused. So to finally have a film that pretty well bears it all out is not only refreshing, but also satisfying. Hereditary is one of those rare films that will get under your skin and leave you with a true sense of dread. This is rare, but also impressive and speaks to the vision of director Ari Oster and powerful performance by lead actress Toni Collette. So if you guys are as stubborn as I am and you haven't watched this movie yet, it is absolutely worth it. And guys, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe so you won't miss any future reviews. And I hope you will join me again next time right here on Hyde's Horror. Thanks for watching, guys.